In this video, we'll look at how artificial intelligence is fully integrated into Naxport. We'll show you some of the main features of Naxport AI and give you some advice for using it effectively. The basic premise of Naxport AI is that you can use it to analyse your own data by prompting it to look at the game data you provide and retrieve profound, sometimes hidden, insights. This information will be unique to your analysis and saved alongside the rest of your data, meaning that the answers generated by AI become an integral part of the analysis process, deepening your understanding of the data. What's more, if you export your analysis data and share it with a colleague, they will be able to open the AI window and see the answers given by AI, even if they do not have their own AI license. Before we begin, there are three concepts that we would like to define, as these will be mentioned throughout the video. The first is context. This refers to your own analysis data that you will feed to the AI for analysis. The second is tokens. This is the currency of artificial intelligence. Every process you ask AI to complete costs a certain number of tokens. Basically, the bigger the context, the more tokens will be used. The last concept is prompts. These are the questions you ask AI in order for it to generate an answer. The more detailed the prompt, the better the answer. AI can be accessed from three different environments of Naxport. The timeline, the clip filter and presentations. Naxport AI works in exactly the same way from each of these environments. The only difference is the context which it uses. From the timeline, the entirety of your analysis data will be used as the context, although this can be filtered by hiding groups of categories using this filter. The context used from the clip filter will be the search results that are returned after filtering. The context used from presentations will be the currently selected list. If you are conducting an analysis of your offence, for example, you can filter out categories or lists that are related to defence. This will make the context smaller, saving you tokens. For this video, we'll use the full game context taken from the analysis data on the timeline. Now let's open the AI environment. Here you have the window for adding your prompts, and this is the window where the answers appear. Let's add a quick prompt for this ice hockey analysis as a demonstration. Acting as an ice hockey coach, create a report about some of the less obvious trends in this game. Show clip IDs for context. The AI starts to analyse the context and, after a few seconds, produces a detailed report in the requested style. Naxport AI is linked intimately to your analysis data and, of course, your video. Adding the phrase, show clip IDs, is important if you want AI to give video context to the answer. As you can see, throughout the report, the AI has highlighted some clip IDs. To watch these clips, click Fetch Clips and they will appear in the column on the right. Click one to watch it in the video player. Remember, all of the info that has been generated is saved to this analysis and can be accessed anytime you open it. This adds a further layer to your analysis, deepening your understanding of the game. Okay, that's the basics of how the integrated AI works in Naxport. Let's take a look at some of the options available. You can save any prompt as a favourite by clicking here and view your favourite prompts here. In this screen, you can also assign any prompt as an auto prompt. This means that any time you open a new analysis, you simply have to click here to ask the question, rather than typing it out again. Using these arrows, you can move between your previous prompts and answers. To clear a saved prompt and answer, click the delete icon. Save your answers or export them in PDF with these icons. Very useful for sharing your AI-assisted analysis with colleagues. 
click the settings icon to open the dictionary, which is a very important tool when using Narcsport AI. When we analyse, we often use language that is unique to us, acronyms that perhaps only we understand. We need to define these so that AI understands them. For example, in this analysis, we have the categories NZC and OZP. These stand for Neutral Zone Play and Offensive Zone Play. So we need to define these terms for AI. Click on the right hand column and add the new names. You can add definitions for both categories and descriptors. Accept and return to the main menu. And now, the next time we add a prompt, ensure that the Use Dictionary switch is activated and AI will read and understand the acronyms from the definitions, leading to more accurate answers. In the Dictionary screen, you also have options to show categories and descriptors in the current analysis only and the option to show and hide selected categories and descriptors. When hidden, these will not be included in the AI's answer. You can also import and export dictionaries for sharing with colleagues. OK, let's return to the main AI window. Next to the Use Dictionary switch is the Use Analysis switch. If this is not activated, the AI will not use your analysis data as context. This is useful if you want the AI to search the internet for answers to general questions you may have. Lastly, this icon contains information about your license. It tells you how many tokens you have remaining, as well as the number of tokens you have used overall in this session and for the last question. You can also see how many days you have remaining on your AI license. So that's a quick overview of Naxport AI and how it works. There are many ways in which Naxport AI can be used in your analysis workflows. Please check out the blog we have prepared with example prompts. The link is in the description. Remember, the quality of answers you receive from Naxport AI depends on two factors, the quality of your data and the quality of your prompts. Again, we suggest checking out the links in the description to get help with both of these. Thanks for watching.